Hello friends and fellow flute enthusiasts and thanks so much for tuning in. Today I wanted to share a couple of flutes with you from a flute maker uh, by the name of Rick Svitzer of Rain Spirit Flutes. And these flutes are a little different than what we're used to so I'm going to bring in an additional flute to kind of show you the differences. What we're talking about today are these two flutes. They are in the key of A and G but the biggest difference between these as opposed to the regular modern native style flute is that these are tuned to a diatonic major scale, so a little bit different. So I'm gonna start with the A and give you kind of some background here and why we would use or choose a major scale flute over our regular everyday native style flute. So comparing apples to apples here, um, this is uh, the walnut flute here on my left is a regular A minor uh, flute. And the one on my right here is a butternut flute in the key of A major. Now this A minor flute will play A major, it will play C major, it will play, it will play a lot of different things. But its natural tuning is the minor pentatonic scale. And the biggest difference here is not so much the size, but look at the hole placement. On the major scale flute, the holes are shifted further down on the flute, whereas the uh, minor pentatonic flute, the holes are pretty centered between the bird and the foot of the flute, which is kind of what we uh, prefer and what's normal uh, for our native flutes. So let me play for you the regular flute. Like I mentioned, it can play A major. But take some cross fingering and half holing to get that. So let's look at the A major. So again, holes are shifted down further because it gives us greater range. One of the things that we fight uh, and have come to accept about the native style flute by design, um, because of its design rather, we have a limited range of about 1.4 octave, meaning we can play uh, an octave and then a few notes beyond that. So let's take a look at this. This plays like an Irish whistle, a penny whistle. We're not leaving any holes down and it's gonna give us that do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do scale or the diatonic major scale. but there's more. We've got to push to get those notes above the octave. Um, this one I was being a little gentle with and they fell out, so I reminded myself to be confident when playing those. I didn't want to be too loud for the microphone, but pushing a little bit, we can open up those bottom three holes all the way, and then I can slide and kind of cheat my way into that note, uh, but I'm not going to hang out there for very long. It's a little more unstable, uh, so these three come in very clear uh, when playing uh, the upper register of that diatonic major scale. Why would you choose a flute like this over a flute like this? Well, there are two different tunings, for one. Um, this one is more of our normal style, but if you're coming to the native flute from a whistle, this would be a great choice because all the songs that you learned, barring, you know, the whistle's gonna give you a little bit even more range than what this will, but those songs that you learned will be more uh, accessible on a flute like this. Um, a lot of the fingering techniques is the same as well, so that's transferable. The other thing um, with this is if you're not used to a major scale, songs can be more accessible on a ma major scale instrument. So uh, things like um, kids' songs. Um, 
even some hymns and more uh, hymns, church songs, things like that are more accessible on um, the tuning of this instrument. I want to play for you the G one as well. Uh, so this one is just like the A, made of butternut. Um, it's just a different, uh, different key. A lot of fun uh, to play with these. These are new flutes that we've added to our store um, online. I'll leave a link in the description below. Again, these are two uh, flutes from Rick Switzer of Rain Spirit Flutes tuned to a diatonic major scale. So it gets you a little bit more uplifted than that of the minor pentatonic scale. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Be sure you like and subscribe. It always helps us with the best rhythm uh, on YouTube, which is the algorithm. I like to tease with that, but we appreciate your viewership and sharing this with your friends uh, who are also into flutes. Thanks so much, and we'll see you in another video soon. Take care.